वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सिंक्रो अ सिंक्रो इज एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक ट्रांसड्यूसर व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर द कन्वर्जन ऑफ एंगुलर पोजीशन ऑफ शाफ्ट इनटू द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल सो इन केस ऑफ द सिंक्रो वी जस्ट रोटेट द शाफ्ट एंड बाय द हेल्प ऑफ द एंगुलर पोजिशन ऑफ द शाफ्ट वी विल जनरेट एन इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल्स Synchro is also used as an error detector because it can efficiently detect the error. Synchro is used for measuring the angle of rotating machine. It has basically consisting of two parts. So the first part is nothing but synchro transmitter and the second part of the synchro is synchro control transformer. so let's study about the synchro transmitter and synchro control transformer in depth so let us have a look at the synchro transmitter here is a basic circuit diagram of a synchro transmitter in this diagram here is a rotor so this part is known as rotor which have a functionality of rotating by the help of emf that will induced by the help of this ac source now this is nothing but stator and the stator winding is being present inside this stator so its construction is similar to the electric motor because the construction of the electric motor is very similar to the construction of synchro transmitter synchro transmitter generally consisting of two parts that is a stator and a rotor so here is a stator and this is a rotor now a stator is a stationary part so this whole part will not rotate and it is a stationary stator consisting of a laminated core with a slots so here is an inner laminated core and this gap is nothing but slots a rotor is a rotatory part so this shaft is known as a rotor and it has a functionality of rotating within this stator winding rotor is a dumbbell shaped laminated core so the stator and the rotor both are laminated and the shape of the rotor just like similar to the dumbbell stator winding of a synchro transmitter are placed 120 degree apart so these are the three synchro transmitter stator winding that are represented by s1 s2 and s3 these all three windings are 120 degree apart from each other now let us move on to the next point that is when the stator winding is excited by ac source then what will happen the rotor winding set up a magnetic field so here is an ac source which is being applied to the rotor winding here is a rotor winding which is being rotating onto this shaft or the rotor when this rotor winding is excited by the help of this ac source then the magnetic field will set up due to which the emf induced in the stator so if the magnetic field just set up in the rotor winding then by the help of electromagnetic induction the electromagnetic force will just induced in the stator so this is all about the basic functionality of synchro transmitter now let us have a look at synchro control transformer so here is the basic representation of synchro control transformer so this circuit is nothing but a synchro transmitter
and this circuit is nothing but a control transformer the control transformer is in direct connection with with the transmitter we had discussed this whole circuitry in the lecture of synchro transmitter and here are the three stator winding that are 120 degree apart from each other which are then directly connected with the control transformer stator winding s1 is directly connected with this s1 s3 is directly connected with s3 and s2 is directly connected with s2 a control transformer have the cylindrical core so that air gap is partially uniform here in case of the transmitter it has a dumbbell shaped core or the dumbbell shaped rotor but in case of the control transformer it has a cylindrical core the advantage of the cylindrical core is the air gap is practically uniform AC voltage is applied to the rotor winding of transmitter so here is the rotor of the transmitter in which the AC source is directly connected we will excite this rotor by the help of this AC source when we supply an AC source to the rotor winding then it generates a magnetizing current in the rotor coil so here is the rotor coil or the rotor winding and when we supply the AC source then the magnetizing current will be generated in the rotor coil when the magnetizing current is generated then due to which the time varying flux is also being generated so the time varying flux is being generated inside this coil and the rotor of the transmitter is remain fixed at the angular position that is theta 1 so here is the transmitter rotor which is being fixed at the angle of theta 1 so this is an angle of theta 1 at which the rotor is being fixed and kept stationary and the rotor of the control transformer is coupled to the output shaft of control system so here is the rotor of control transformer and it is being directly connected to the output shaft here is the output shaft of the control system so this is rotor of control transformer and it is in direct connection with control systems shaft angular shift in the output shaft detects an error easily since we have discussed that the synchro transmitter is a good error detecting device and also the control system, control transformer is also used for the error detection and this circuit is basically used for the detection of error that's why whenever there is an angular shift in the output shaft that is here whenever there is an angular shift in this shaft then it will detect the error so in this way the combination of this synchro transmitter and synchro control transformer act as a error detecting device this is all about the basic functionality of synchro control transformer thank you